minus 5. Minus and minus plus sign remain minus. That's what I am going to take both the numbers in the negative. Now, I am going to write here 20 and in the denominator we will have 3 minus 1. Now, I am going to take common from these two then these two. So, I am going to take the common. Here is the 5p I am going to take common. So, here we will have p minus 5 fours are 20. Now, I am going to take common from this one. So, I am taking 5 as the common then we will have p and if we are having negative outside the bracket then sign inside the bracket will change. So, 5 fours are 20 we are having. Now, I am going to write here p minus 1. Now, the first factor we are having is the 5p minus 5 and the another factor we are having is the p minus 4. This one we are having divided by p minus 1. Now, I am going to take common from this one. So, I am having the common 5 then we will have 5 I am going to take 5 as the common, then we will have p minus 1 here and this one we are having is the p minus 4. And the denominator we are having p minus 1, so p minus 1 is cancelled from p minus 1. We are having 5 multiplied by p minus 4. So this one we are having the solution for the part 3. Now comes to the part 4. This one we are having here 4yz, z square plus 6z minus 16 divide by 2y z plus 8. So, I am going to write here 4 y z z square plus 6 z minus 16 and here I am going to write here 2 y divide by 2 y multiply by z plus 8. Now, we are not going to factorize this term. So, I am going to write here 4 y z. I am going to take 2 numbers and you multiply we get 16 and you plus minus we get 6. So, I am going to take 8 plus 2, that is the, sorry, 8 minus 2, this one we are having 6 and 8 multiplied by 2, 8 to the 16 we are having. So, I am going to write here z square. Now, the number should be, the remainder should be in the positive one. So, I am going to take 8 as the positive one. So, this is the 8z minus 2z plus minus minus, we will have 6 as the positive one, minus 16. Now, I am going to write here 2y z plus 8. Now I am going to take the common from these two then these two. So I am going to write here. I am going to take z as the common here. So we will have z plus 8 here. And here I am going to take common minus 2. Then we will have z. If we are having minus before the bracket then sign inside the bracket will change. So this will become plus 2 8s are 16. Now these two we are having as same. So I am going to write this one only the one time. So here we are having 2 y z plus 8. Now I am going to write here 4 y z and the first factor we are having is the z minus 2 and the second one we are having is the z minus 8. This one divided by 2 y z plus 8. Now z plus 8 is cancelled from z plus 8. y is cancelled from y. 2 1 is a 2. 2 2 is a 4. Now we are having the remainder 2 z and z minus 2. So this one we are having the solution for the part 4. Now comes to the part 5. This one we are having is the 5 pq p square minus q square divided by 2 p p plus q. Now I am going to write here 5 pq divide multiply by p square minus q square divided by 2 p p plus q. Now I am going to use the identity here a square minus b square. This one is equal to the a plus b and a minus b we are having. So I am going to use this one here. So this one we are having 5 pq. Here we will have p plus q that is the a plus b and p minus q that one we are having is the a minus b. Now this one is divided by 2 p, p plus q we are having. Now p plus q is cancelled from p plus q. P is cancelled from P. Now we are having the remainder as the 5 Q multiply by P minus Q divided by 2. So this one we are having the solution for the part 5. Now comes to the part 6. This one we are having here 12 X Y 9 X square minus 16 X square. And here we are having divide by 4xy and 3x plus 4y we are having. Now I am going to write here 12xy 9x square minus 16y square. This one divided by 4xy and 3x plus 4y. Now 
I'm going to write this one as the a square. So I'm going to write this one as the 3x whole square. This one we are having a square minus I'm going to write this one as the 4y whole square. So we are having the a square minus b square. We have written this one as the a square minus b square. So we are going to use the identity here a square minus b square. This one we are having is the a plus b and a minus b. So I'm going to write here 12 xy so we're going to write here 3x plus 4y that is the a plus b and 3x minus 4y that is the a minus b we are having now this one is divided by 4xy and 3x plus 4y now 3x plus 4y is cancelled from 3x plus 4y xy is cancelled from xy now 4 ones are 4 4 threes are 12 we are having now we are having here 3 and here we are having the 3x minus 4y. So this one we are having the solution for the part 6. Now comes to the last part. Last part we are having is the part 7. This one we are having is the 39y to the power 3. 50y square minus 98. This one is divided by 26y square and 5y plus 7. I am going to write here 39y cube. Here we are having 50y square minus 98. And this one is divided by 26y square. And here we will have 5y plus 7. Now I am going to write here 39y to the power 3. First of all I am going to take common from 50y square minus 98. So I am going to take the common as the 2. So if I am taking the common is 2 here, then we will have 2 2s are 4 and 2 5s are 10. This one we are having 25y square minus 2 4s are 8. 1 as the remainder, 2 9s are 18. So this one we are having. Now we will write here 26y square 5y plus 7. Now this is the 39y to the power 3 multiplied by 2. And here I am going to write this one as the a square, so this one we are having 5y square, so this is the a square minus b square, that is the 7 square and hand. So I have written here in this form. So this one we are having in the denominator 26y square and 5y plus 7. Now I am going to use the identity here, a square minus b square, this one we are having is the a plus b and a minus b. So I am going to use here 39y cube multiplied by 2. Here we will have 5y plus 7 and 5y minus 7. Now in the denominator we are having 26y square and this one we are having 5y plus 7. Now 5y plus 7 is cancelled from 5y plus 7. y square is cancelled from y square. Now 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6. Now this one we are having 13 ones are 13, 13 threes are 39 we are having. Now we are having the 3. And here we are having is the y and we are having is the 5 by minus 7. So we are having the solution for the part 7 as the 3y multiplied by 5 by minus 7. So with this one we have completed the question number 5 and the exercise 14.3. In the next video we are going to start with the exercise 14.4.